It's LeVac and Goss on 104.5 The Team. We're pretty, we're pretty lucky these days. You, you Sienna folk, uh, you, you're, you're more than happy to come in and talk to us a little bit more. I, I, I like this. Joining us right now, Greg Manning and, and Jordan Horn. Um, Sienna, of course, Jimmy, too busy for us today. He stopped by yesterday. That's not true. He's always got time for you guys. He's on the road today. Yeah, well, he's doing something. He's got a uh, Boys and Girls Club thing. He's yeah, he's out speaking with. at an event down there. So, uh, you know, he's always popular candidate to, to speak at stuff. He's got a big personality, and, and a lot of people want him to uh, speak at their events. So he's on the road today doing some more of that. So, Greg, um, obviously, wish we were talking after uh, better results from last night's game. Dunk City comes in. Um, they, they, w- what were they able to do? Why were they able to be so successful against you guys? Yeah, they're a really good team to start. Uh, I heard you guys talking a few minutes ago before we got here about our schedule and how tough it is. And these teams that we're starting out with are, are teams that are picked to win their league. And obviously, Florida Gulf Coast went to the NCAA tournament last year. Um, they're picked first in the A-Sun this year. They got the preseason player of the year in Goodwin. Uh, so we knew that coming in that they were going to be really good and a tough challenge. So I think uh, down the stretch, it was a close game with about 12 minutes to go in the second half. And then their experience, um, guys that have played there for three, four years that have been in big games like that, uh, that have played in front of crowds like we get at the Times Union Center, uh, just kind of helped them pull away with it. Uh, we have a lot of young guys that are learning. That was their first game at the Times Union Center. So um, I think as we go on throughout the season, we'll get better. And then you got to find a way to win those type of games. It's that last part right there. Young guys learning and getting better. It's something the LeVac and I felt through you guys whether it's talking to Coach Pantos and others. And yeah, the result may not go in the direction you had hoped, but this can only be a positive going forward for the rest of the season. Does it feel like that with both your team and all some of your players right now? Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, we got to get better as the year goes on. What really matters at this level is, is the MAC um, and competing for, for a championship uh, during the regular season in the MAC, and then obviously the conference tournament, which is is always here. It has been for the last couple of years at the Times Union Center. So uh, we have to get these young guys to mesh with our, our experienced guys and be ready to go by the time the MAC comes around and have our lineup set and have them comfortable uh, in which in positions that they're in. So obviously we want to win as many games as we can early um, for the fans and for ourselves and confidence. But it really uh, what really matters is the MAC. And I, Jordan Horn's here, one of our freshmen who uh, who's done a great job. He played really well in Canada this summer for us. Um, and we're relying on him to play a lot of minutes, so he's learning as it goes, so he can kind of talk on it too. Yeah, Jordan, welcome, welcome. This is uh, your first time they've they've been brave enough to send a player in, so you must be a tough guy. I am, I am. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Jordan. So what, what's it been like? You know, obviously a little bit of growing pains, getting used to the to the new team and all that stuff. But I see, you know, Coach Greg Manning, Co- Coach Jimmy Patsos, they don't pretend to be excited about seasons, and you can see excitement about this season. What do you see in this team? Oh, I can definitely see excitement about the coaches and the team. The team, like that first game at Charleston, everybody was pumped up. They were, they were sick of practicing against each other every single day for months at a time, and it was good to finally compete against somebody else. And uh, unfortunately, we lost, but we're still learning from that, and uh, we're still excited to play the next game in the next. I want to go back into the season in a second. I want to figure out how in the world the dude from Minnesota and out in Canada, how in the world do you end up in Albany, man? His Vikings are doing well, right? You guys, right. That's well, yeah, right. No, yeah, could. We are. Patso said we better be talking about the Vikings when you come in. So yeah, we'll, get, get to that. we'll get to your Vikings in a second. How did you end up? How did the recruiting process go and end up being a saint? Um, uh, one of the assistants, Coach Abel Slashy, uh, he came, he reached out to me, uh, in about October, I believe, of my senior year and, uh, he kind of, he told me he was interested and then I talked to Patos a little bit and then, uh, Abe came out to see me play, and then I got to talk to Pat just a little bit, and uh, Santa was the place to be. I came out on my vision, and I loved it, so Abe just happened to be from Minnesota, so it just worked out that way. Let's get into the Vikings now, then. That's a shout out Minnesota. <laughs> How you feel in the first place Vikings playing with Case Keenum and still making things happen? I'm happy. I mean, it's good to see the hometown finally do good. I mean, we, we've been struggling for some years in every sport besides women's basketball. But um, I'm glad to see him do good, seven and two, and second in the NFC. So I'm I'm happy about it. Well, listen, I, I gotta tell you this right now, Jordan. Jordan Horn with us, uh, freshman for the Siena Saints. This guy over here, Gaz, has been this Case Keenum fan club. I think he has a tattoo of him in a place he can't talk about. <laughs> what What do you think? Should Teddy Bridgewater get back in, or is Case Keenum the guy for now? If uh, If it's not broke, don't fix it. That's how I feel about it. I mean, he's been doing really well. I, li- I love Teddy Bridgewater. I like what he can bring to the team, but I think Case Keenum, he's getting the job done, so I, I think you should keep him there. Jordan uh, Horn with us right now. So, Jordan, let's go back to the hardwood for you guys. 
Do you beat Lehigh? Do you need to beat Lehigh? What, what's, where's, where's the mindset at for the players? I think our mindset is to win every single game, no matter who it is. But I think, I think a, a win at Lehigh, a win at Bucknell, I think that'll be really good for us. Uh, we came off two really bad losses, so really get our confidence up and we know that we can compete with anybody. So those, those, that, those two wins on the road will be really huge for us. And then come home to face Hofstra. And that's, I think the biggest thing, like, the the Times Union Center. How how cool is it to play there as as a freshman for Sienna? Like if you get enough of you crazy Sienna kids running around that place, how 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 much can that help you get those wins? It was crazy for the first game on a Monday night. It was ridiculous to see all those people come out, the students and the alumni and all the, the other people who came out to, to see us. And for me, being a freshman and playing in such a big crowd, my first collegiate game was home game. At least was really great. I loved it. What are your individual goals? Is it your freshman season? What are you trying to do now from November all the way to March that you think can make you a better player? And actually, I'm going to have you answer the question, then Coach answer the same question, see if you guys are on the same page. I just think i got to do anything to help the team win from now until March when the, se- when the season uh, is really on the line in the, in the tournament. Uh, whether it's rebounding, whether it's scoring, uh, making an extra pass, taking a charge, whatever it is, I just want to be on the floor and keep myself on the floor by doing all the right little things first. And then the scoring, all that stuff will come later on. That's a pretty good answer, Coach. You might not even a rebuttal for that. I mean, you guys can tell by the way he speaks. He's a pretty smart kid. So uh, Jordan's good because he can do a lot of different things. He can play the one. He can play the two. Uh, we really like him coming off the bench just because he can fill both of those positions. So um, he's a knockdown shooter, which which he's proven in, in Montreal, and he's hit some shots already this season, um, some big ones for us. So I think he adds a lot of value to our team, either starting or off the bench. Um, so we're going to look for, forward to him you know, playing big minutes throughout this whole season. Greg Manning with us, assistant coach for Siena. Uh, Jimmy Patsos out uh, doing good, helping out with the Boys and Girls Club. So, Coach, I haven't been to a Siena game. What am I looking for? When I when I come to the TU Center and I walk in there now, we got the new bill. The whole place yep. is, is redone. But like you just said, Jordan, he, he can play the you know the he, multiple positions. Young team, no seniors. What am I looking at? What am I looking for? I think the energy is, is what we need to pick up a little bit. That's what, what we didn't have last night, just the passion and energy to play in front of our fans. Before the game, I said uh, to these young guys, and Jordan will tell you, it's, it's about the product that we put out on that floor for 40 minutes, and that's why the fans come. They're really into it, and, and they deserve to, to see a good product on that floor for 40 minutes, and we gave it to them for about 30 last night. So we got to work on that. But I, you know, what to look for? I, I think just the energy and, and the excitement in the young kids. It's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be different every game because we're trying to figure out what lineups to play, who to play with who. Uh, we obviously have Nico, who's a talented scorer, back. Um, so we got to figure out how to play around him and piece guys around him. And, and these young guys are really good. Jordan's really good. And Prince Adur is starting for us at center. He's a really talented big man who had 30 offers coming out of high school. So um, we got some really talented pieces. And I just kind of think um, throughout the season we'll figure out who can play with who and, and who needs to be in what spots. Let me ask Jordan this Dunk City, they got the moniker. They, they're in the tournament, and all that other fun stuff. Do you get a little starstruck being a younger team when you're playing against these kind of guys who have been who have been on TV multiple times and all stuff? Oh, uh, when you when you hear them talk about the team before the game, but uh, you may get a little intimidated, like wow, they're a really big name. They're Dunk City coming into our arena, NCAA tournament team. But once you're out on the floor. Everybody should tie the shoes the same way. Everybody, everybody's a human being, and everybody's playing basketball. I do the so. bunnier one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Either way it works. But once you're out on the floor with them, I think I think we realize that we can compete with anybody. We all we're all here for a reason to play basketball. So no matter who you are, what name you have, I I, I think you're definitely beatable. All right, Levac and I are going to be a little selfish here. We're going to the Super Bowl. Come January, we're going to be in Minnesota. Uh-oh. Late, help us, man. Right? we got to dress warm. Give us some advice of how to dress in Minnesota and what to do when we're there. Uh, dress in layers. Okay. That's, that's probably the biggest tip I can give you. Dress in layers. It's not, it's, it, it gets a lot colder than upstate New York, I can tell you that. But, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff downtown Minneapolis. It's really nice. I'm personally from St. Paul, but I've been around Minneapolis my whole life. So, a lot of good places to eat, a lot of, a lot of nice things to see. And Minneapolis is a nice city. So, so dressing, you said it gets way colder than I'm saying there? A lot colder. We had a, we had a guy who used to cover the Bills for us. Now he's covering, he's in Minnesota and he said the difference between Buffalo and Minnesota. Buffalo, you get snowed in. Minnesota, your eyeballs will shatter from the cold. Exactly. I, oh no! <laughs> exactly. I told, I, I told Greg coming in here, uh, we we're in the car, we were talking, he was telling me like, uh, how cold, does it get like colder here than it does, uh, back home? And I said, uh, you guys get a lot more snow, but, 
I mean, you're going to walk outside, your face is going to start hurting. That's how cold it gets in Minnesota. Jordan Horn might be the only person <laughs> that Dan has ever recruited that we were like, winter's not that bad. It's not. It's not. <laughs> I can imagine Jordan showing up That's with why us. he came here, really. He's not telling you the truth, but that's why he came here. Your teammates from Maryland, they're going to be like all bundled up. You're going to be rocking shorts in January and just mocking them. You're like, dude, no. Like, it's fine right now in upstate. <laughs> yeah, no. They're all telling me about that. Like, you're probably going to get sick when the weather changes. I'm like, nah, I'll be all right. I'm used, I'm used to it. I'll be okay. Uh, Jordan Horton, Greg Manning, Sienna States basketball. Um, anything else we people need to know? I mean, because we do have, it's only, well, you got two road games, and then you're back home for, for Hofstra. I mean, what, 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 what kind of message can we get out? We gotta get the, I, like, I want to pack the TU every time you guys are there. Yeah, I think, I don't, I think the, the Hofstra game is at a Saturday night, maybe. I'm not, you got it right there. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so I, th I think they'll come out for that. Obviously, um, we do a good job scheduling with our athletic director, Don Jorgenio. And Jimmy worked together with that, so we try to get as many Saturday, Friday night games as we can non-conference just so it's easier for people to come out. Um, so I hope they stick with us. Like, like I said, it's going to be a work in progress um, until we get to that max season. Um, so I hope they come out and support us. And, and these are some really good teams that are coming in here to play us. So we try to get good teams to come in for the fans in Florida Gulf Coast and Hofstra's and St. Bonaventure's and, and, and teams like that. So hopefully we can get a win or two on the road here in the next week and then uh, come home with – with a couple of those under our belt so the fans can see a good performance out of us. Craig Manning, you're used to coming back here. Jordan, did you think he was taking you, like, to leave you in the woods, driving you back here to the studio? <laughs> yeah, he, on the way here, he was like, man, they're taking us to the sticks. And I was like, yeah, I know. So uh, it, was, it wasn't too bad, I mean. All right. You nice, come nice, back then? Nice, yeah, definitely, okay. I'll definitely come back. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, guys, thanks for coming in. Best of luck on the road. Let's get some W's for the – not like um, – not Jameis Winston W's. I don't want you eating. No, we don't need to eat any no, of them. No, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> that didn't work too well, did it? They no, lost that no. week. And he still he played since. Exactly. <laughs> don't eat your fingers, kids. It's bad for you. Guys, best of luck. Thanks so much. Headlines coming up next.